With the rise of social media, people do some really intense things just to get a little bit of fame on the internet. But the question is, how far would you go? Would you kill to be internet famous? What's crack, it's Evangelina Skov, and today we are doing a little bit of a different video. I recently came across a story which honestly just shook me to my core. I have not been able to stop thinking about it. And I thought, why don't I just make a video about it? Why don't we sit down and talk about it and I tell you what happened? So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about Zachary Latham, an 18 year old man who is accused of murdering his neighbor to gain TikTok fame. Now, before we move on and I tell you about everything that happened, I just need to say that everything in this video is alleged. It's all based on speculation and opinion and not on facts. So keep that in mind as we go forward. I'm just gonna say now as well, this is a very bizarre situation. And it's the first time I've heard of something like this happening for TikTok. We won't go into any inappropriate details, obviously, but it is sort of a heavy one. At the age of 18, Zachary fatally wounded his 51 year old neighbor, William Durham. This came after an altercation that they had in Zachary's home. But before you can understand why this happened, we have to go back to the beginning and how they met and how this was just a big lead up to the situation. When Zachary was 16, he moved in with his grandparents who were neighbors with the Durhams. These were William, Catherine, and their two sons. Now, to my knowledge, there wasn't a big welcome party or a, hey, hello, nice to meet you neighbor. The first time they met was when William confronted Zachary about his reckless driving, but that didn't really seem to be an issue. Nothing Nothing really happened after that and actually Zachary went and apologized to William for his driving but things didn't really seem to change all too much and Zachary continued with his reckless driving and in fact things actually got far worse and this all started in April of 2020. This started when Zachary got into an argument with William's wife, Catherine, which Zachary decided to film and put on TikTok. And during the video, he was calling Catherine a Karen. I don't think I need to explain the Karen thing. I think we all know about that. And that video obviously garnered a lot of negative comments towards Catherine, comments saying things that he should do, like slash her tires or, or just general nasty comments about the Karen. Later, Zachary drove up to Catherine and shouted, hey, Karen, we went viral after the video got a lot of views on TikTok. There were so many more instances after this as well. Like one situation which happened between Zachary and the Durham's teenage son. Now there are two versions to this story. The Durham's and their lawyer claim that Zachary was in his truck and swerved at their son who was on a bike on the side of the road. However, Zachary says that this didn't happen at all and he just beeped his horn at him. At a later stage, William had blocked Zachary's truck with his own car and then Catherine came out and started confronting Zachary about his driving and about what had happened with her son. And Catherine was filming this whole thing. Now, whether that was to have proof on camera of what was going on or whether it was just to show Zachary how horrible it is to be filmed, I don't know. Now, I was unsure whether Zachary pushed the phone out of her hand, but the phone did fall and Zachary left, escaped, drove away. And there were a couple of other negative incidents between them, but let's just move on and let's talk about what happened the night of. Now, what happens on this night is up for debate and it's all very confusing, but essentially, the Durham's two sons showed up to confront Zachary about his behavior. And so did William and Catherine. Zachary's wife, Sarah, was also there that night and she decided to record what was happening. And during the recording, you can hear them telling the Durham's to get off their property. Now, Zachary got himself a knife and a stun gun and he apparently fired the gun and swung the knife at one of the Durham's sons. And because of this, William tried to grab Zachary and Zachary swung the knife hit his arm, I think it cut him. And after that, Zachary tried to go to his garage to apparently hide. And his friends happened to be there at the same time as well. So the friends went to the garage too and William followed. Now it's at this point that the incident happens. The stun gun is fired multiple times and the knife is swung by Zachary at William. This cuts him under his armpit and punctures his lung. And it's believed that this was the fatal wound. Later, police show up and William is pronounced dead. And Zachary is taken to a hospital to be treated for his own injuries, which were very minor, a concussion and some cuts. Now he was released and he was allowed to stay free until the trial. And he was even allowed to move to Florida while all of this was going on. Now, obviously there was gonna be a trial and all of that, but also the Durham's were being charged with some offenses too, with Catherine being charged with simple assault and criminal trespass and her two sons being charged with aggravated 
aggravated assault and criminal trespass. Now this all happened in May of 2020, but the next month in June, the Durham's lawyer sent a letter to the prosecutor of that county, the Cumberland County prosecutor, saying that they believed Zachary had done this to get views on TikTok, to become TikTok famous and go viral. And they called for a charge of first degree murder rather than self-defense. And what's really not helping this case is the fact that Zachary decided to start posting on social media about this case and making comments on posts on TikTok and Instagram and replying to comments about the case while it was still ongoing, which only fueled the idea that he was doing this because he wanted attention on social media. But in August, a motion was filed for all parties involved with the case to not be allowed to comment publicly about it. And that motion did pass. But it was alleged by the Durham's lawyers again that Zachary had made other accounts or at least one other account to comment on this situation. But while Zachary should be laying low and not commenting on anything and just trying to get through this trial, this year, in January of 2021, he was arrested again. In Florida, a driver says he was confronted with a man who tried to ram his vehicle and then showed that he had a firearm. And it turns out that this was Zachary Latham. Now the police tracked his car, found him, and found him in possession of an airsoft BB gun, which looked like an AK-47. And he was arrested with, and let me just read it so I get it right, two counts of aggravated assault. One count of aggravated assault with an intent to commit a felony, and one with a deadly weapon without the intent to kill. And in regards to the murder case of William Durham, the jury were given all the possible options for what to charge Zachary with. And in the end, they chose manslaughter. But the question still remains, did he do this for TikTok? Let me know in the comments what you think. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for me for now. So if you enjoyed this type of video, then do leave it a like. Let me know in the comments if you want more of it. And you can also, if you haven't already, subscribe and turn on notifications. And you can also follow me on social media. Like, comment, share, and do all the things that I'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of the video. And have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.